this is a good day, dude. All right, Butch Cassidy. Chalk that one off the old bucket list. Wow. Heck yeah, everybody. This is day two in Moab. It is a Tuesday. We are headed north on 191. Got Michael the man over here. So we're going out to find this place. It's uh, west of Moab, and it's on the other side of the swell. Seeing Raphael swell. All right, everybody. We peeled off of Route 70 real quick. This is called Eagles Canyon. And this is a viewpoint for it. And the craziest thing, <laughs> check out the cell tower over there. You see it? Let me zoom in on it. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Eagle Canyon. There is a trail that runs down through it. I've seen videos, in fact, um, of people running it. And it looks pretty doable. Um, right over there, you can see the highway. There's a big bridge right there, I believe, somewhere in there. But the highway goes over the canyon, and underneath that is a trail. In fact, I don't know if this is it, but if you look down here, that might be either a launch or part of the trail. I kind of kind of want to do it. Um, I don't know. But very beautiful out here. Pretty cool. Classic Utah stuff going on here. Oh my gosh, and the raven. The big ravens out here. Interesting. So here's a little fun fact. So this bush here, it's called a juniper bush. And it has these, I don't know what you want to call them, seed pod berries or whatever. I got two in my mouth. You can chew on them and they taste extremely like pine because it's part of the pine family. But from my understanding, I'm pretty sure, this is what they make gin out of. Juniper, they make gin out of, of these berries. Yeah, so there you go. A little fun fact. So we're still headed towards that fuel gas station, whatever. It said it was nine miles up. But man, this road is actually super nice. It is chip and sealed. And it is driving through a small canyon. And it is very cool. Like, very cool drive. I cannot believe how nice this road is. get after it. Oh, we come out of the canyon and there is a little town looking thing down here in the bottom. So, the hills may have eyes, Michael. Mm. It's all good though. Well, according to my trip, I think we should be about three miles away and that's probably about three miles away. Alright, we'll tell you here in a moment. Alright. That's what it looks like. So we're here in Emory at, at, at Randy's Fuel stop, and this is Randy. Been here forever, grew up here. Uh, married his wife, what, 56 years ago? He's telling us a cool spot south of town. We're going to try to go find it. And there is a rock, and it has Butch Cassidy's name on it. Just showed us a picture, giving us some detail. Very cool. We're going to go find this stuff. This is what life's all about. That is so cool. Thanks, Randy. Appreciate it. All right, Janice. Just for you. We're in Emory, Utah. We're at Randy's service station. We were just talking to Randy. If you're ever coming through here, which you never know, you might stop, get some gas, say hi to Randy. Uh, we're coming back to this area at least one more day this week, aren't we, Michael? He does search and rescue here for, what, 40-some years, he said? Yeah. Stories grew up here, and he's told us a bunch of cool places to go check out. So, all right, everybody, we're going to go find a rock that says something Miller on it for the guy that founded Miller's Canyon. And then we're gonna go find Rory's Lookout and then Butch Cassidy's name. Let's do this. We just left Emery talking to Randy and he told us when we're coming back up this canyon, this is Miller's Canyon, he told us where this rock is. It's right by the 25 mile an hour speed limit sign where it goes from 45 to 25. And he said, stop and look at this rock and look at the name on it. Well, you see the name? M.S. Miller, July 1884. That's why this canyon is Miller's Canyon. Pretty crazy, huh? That's pretty cool. Wow. And you want to know another little fun fact about Michael? We got in a truck, and he goes, okay, dude, who's Butch Cassidy? <laughs> so there you go. There's a sign of the times, how old I am and how young he is. 
So we're heading south of 70 out, I don't know the road name. Oh yeah, it says South Miller Canyon Road. Okay, so there you go. Uh, the GPS told me on the, on the, see right there, South Miller Canyon Road. Kind of cool out through here, very good views. And uh, Randy, uh, that was really cool running into him. He gave us some really cool uh, information. So uh, I think we're a couple miles away from where the Butch Cassidy rock is down here in the wash. So I believe by looking at my GPS, we're going to get to that before we get to Rory's Overlook. So, all right, I'm going to keep on chugging along. But hold on, let me uh, keep you rolling here. See what it looks like when we crest this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a cool view. Check that out, everybody. You know what really sucks for all you watching this right now? It's not nearly as cool on camera as it is in the truck right now. Right, Michael? Oh, you can't even compare. Right? Oh, this is cool. Alrighty, everybody. I'm going to get back to getting back. Oh, look at this wash, Michael. When it rains, I would not want to be anywhere around here. This would be ugly. All right, check it out. We're driving through lava fields out here. Uh, we're getting close to where Butch Cassidy signed the rock. Uh, that's just in front of us here. But how cool are that? These lava fields. Uh, Randy told us that, yeah, you, there's a lot of lava fields down through here. And you'll see them, you'll drive through them. And uh, it's pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, we are, I believe, down in this valley. I think is where I think we got to walk up this wash here to find his signature. I think it's up there. Um, all right, I got to get to the GPS unit to get my coordinates. All right, well, we made it to the wash. I believe this is the right wash, and I believe it's up here somewhere. We're gonna definitely see what we can find. Oh my gosh, there's so many cool rocks down through here, isn't there, Michael? Look at this. Absolutely awesome. All right, let's see I think what we we're can. in the right area. We sure can't seem to find it, can we, Michael? I mean, the pictures we saw looked like they were taken in the 80s, didn't they, Michael? Yeah. Early 90s, maybe. Mid 90s. I'm gonna go down through here a little more. See. We what were we so can. close. So I walk up here, and there's this like fire pit looking thing it almost looks like an old grave or something and i'm like check out this stone like it looks like a good place to camp and what's michael do he's like dude right here butch cassidy oh my gosh right there that's insane dude. that is insane so Randy said it was probably done with bacon grease and charcoal from the fire. Wow, that's intense. That's, yeah, I can see the black. Thing. That's crazy. All right, let's get a picture. Wow, that's absolutely crazy. Such a cool find. Such a cool find. And, dude, I swear, that's, yeah, it's a fire pit or something. Him, yeah. This is, yeah. I mean, what a cool, man, if you're hiding out and camping, dude. I mean, this is a great spot right here. You could be underneath. This is huge overhang, and you you could you could be down in here, and they would almost have to walk right up on. And then look across there at all those lava boulders. Absolutely crazy. That's a good find. This is a good day, dude. All right, Butch Cassidy, chalk that one off the old bucket oh. list. Wow. Michael and I are walking around and getting ready to head back to the truck. And he finds an old 50 cal ammo can. And he's like, should I open it? And I'm like, yeah. Like, why not? Nervous. So, if you guys find this phone and we blew up, <laughs> we're not going to blow up. No way. It's like a geocache thing. Some lip balm. I wish I had a freaking BBP sticker, dude. That's a 3D Barbie movie. Dude, I wish I had a BBP sticker. Hey, I got a card. A BBP put, card. Put it in there. Right there. On my back of my phone. Oh, yeah, put it in there. I right, found a little sign-in book. We're going to sign it. 
And there's the proof. Wild Bunch Off-Road Crew. Wow. This is cool. Very cool. All right. I'm going to sign that critter. It is. Let's do this. Signed the book. It's Halloween, 1031, 23. Michael, me, Bill by Potsy, BBP Fab. Cards down in there. Michael's there. We're going to put this back the way it was, cover it up, and let somebody else find it down the road. Yep. That would be cool if Elizabeth came here someday, wouldn't it, and said there's Dad's name. Yep. That would be cool. All right. Let's get back to this adventure. If we don't do anything else today besides mosey back to Moab, what a killer day, right? Awesome. Oh, wow. That's cool. All right. I've never found anything like this before. What a cool day. What a cool find, huh, Michael? Very interesting. And then the truck's way over there. So we had to come down this wash. If we'd have never ran into Randy, the old fella at the gas station, you'd have never found this. So cool. All right. We are literally in the middle of nowhere. Wow, this is very cool. Oh my gosh, these dunes are so steep. Crazy. And this sand is, it's like flour. There ain't no way. It's hard to even walk right here, let alone I can imagine trying to drive up this. Insane. Absolutely insane. Alrighty. We're gonna we'll keep working our way south. Stuff you find in Utah. It is absolutely crazy. Wow. What an incredible place. I mean, this valley right here is absolutely massive. I don't even know how far across that is. I bet it's three, four miles easy. A cool picture. Truck down there. Wow. Very cool. Alright, we're gonna keep on keeping on. Alright, we're kind of working our way towards Cathedral Valley. And this is just cool stuff. I mean, how cool is this? Man, Michael, the stuff I get into, I tell you. <laughs> We're 164 miles into this loop already. I mean, we're just driving up a big ditch. That's all we're doing. cool stuff. All right, I'm going to get back to driving. Well, when you're with Potsy, you just never know what you're going to end up doing. Did you think you were going to be in Capitol Reef National Park today? Yeah, I didn't think we would be, but it happened. All right, there you go, everybody. It's been an interesting day, for sure. That is one heck of a cool view. A little dust on the old trimmer. Good. On our way out through Cathedral Valley, headed towards 24. Got across the Fremont River. It hopefully, isn't flowing too crazy. And if it is, we'll figure it out. But classic Utah stuff here. Bye. Uh -huh.